Time you went to ADCC, so so now you're you're in the bracket finally. Uh, you know, I'm sure it was a, a a dream come true, like you said, just just to be there. Um, what was what was it like just to, to to be there to know that you're that you're at ADCC? You know, with with all these big big names around you, I'm sure that that you had been watching. It's it's hard to process, you know, when mm -hmm. you're in the middle of the whole thing. You don't really have even you imagine ADCC being that big. You don't really know how to feel. You know, you understand? You don't know yeah. like uh, how to. You, I, I feel like I didn't absorb that that much because I don't know if you people understand like today, even like people know me from everything I did in the ADCC or, or Abu Dhabi or in Jiu Jitsu for all this time. I'm still that kind of kid that have that much passion and then uh, just have that dream. You know, I still feel that dream. Mm -hmm. I still feel like, oh, I, I, I I want to have that dream to become a world champion and live of Jiu-Jitsu. You know? So I still have that same feeling. I remember that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, so when you're in the middle of that dream, you just don't feel it, you know what I mean? Because you're just living that dream. It's not a dream anymore, you know yeah. what I mean? So it was, was huge like, uh, to be there, but you don't really feel. But I, I can't complain because like, I was so into training and compete and kind of uh, focus on my goal that my performance didn't change. Mm -hmm. Even I was living my dream. Even I was like, a, that was the biggest challenge of my life until that. You understand? So you were just so deep in the yeah, competition, I, and I was, I wasn't supposed to win that. Yeah. Know? When I say wasn't supposed, like if you see my side of the bracket, it was more different than like if you if you stop to think about, I don't know how much memory you guys have from from the champions in that time, when I say the champions, like the big names from that, from that time, that was the guy who, who beat me in the trials, that was Terere on my division, that was like a Hanzo Gracie, that was Shaolin, uh, I'm sorry if I forgot somebody with, with a big name, but just that, it was just a, such a big bracket, I was like, I wasn't supposed to yeah. win, nobody was expecting me to win. But inside of me, I was just like, a, I, I didn't see me losing. I wasn't thinking about losing. What I mean, not thinking about losing. I didn't think I could win too, but inside of me, I was like, I was just gonna try everything I have. You know? mm -hmm. Based on the trials that I lost, that I knew I tried so hard on the trials, that I chased my opponent 20 minutes. When I say chase, like, I really did everything I could. I, I finished the, the trials that I lost, like all burned. Mm. When I say burn, like my knees was burned, my elbows burned because I was just diving. Just after. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, based on that and how much I won and I wish I have got my spot and now I have my spot, I just like, I know all those names were supposed to easily beat me, but I just like, I didn't think about that. I, I didn't focus on the loss. I didn't focus on like, a, oh, maybe you're gonna just get beat up in first round. I was just like, I can get beat up, but I was just gonna try so hard mm -hmm. because it's just something that you want so much and now like, you have a chance to do it and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want this so much. No, I was just, I knew how much I won that. Yeah, and you had this kind of second chance at, at ADCC, so you weren't gonna let it slip through your fingers. Yeah, and, and when you're 20 years old and you lose at trials in January and then five, six months later, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. When you're that young, like that, that time to wait is such a long time. I don't know if you think about that, like a, when you were young, we just like, a, yeah. we can't wait. We, we just know that time is just like, a, we, we don't have that patience. So I was like, a, I, I've i been waiting for this for too long. Even it was just like five months, but then that was like enough. Felt I mean, like you know, forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and yeah, I mean, you, you mentioned that all those big names and of course, you know, you, your, um, your side of the bracket was was particularly stacked, mm -hmm. and, and you had Henzo Gracie um, in, in in the first round. Can, can you? What do you remember from, from that match? Obviously, like uh, uh, I can't forget that when I was like yellow belt, I went to Rio de Janeiro, and then my first coach took to Grace Barra, and then Henzo was training for his MMA 
fight against Eugenio Tadeu, who was a big like fight in Jiu Jitsu against Luta Livre. So he was trained there, and my coach was able to, when he finished training, ask me to take a picture of him. So that was on my memory the wow. whole time. When you were you know, a yellow some, belt? Yeah, someone that when you were a yellow belt, 14 years old, like take a picture of someone, that was on my mind. So that was huge for me. That was like a, a unreal. When I say unreal, like a, people doesn't understand because it's just like who lives that able to really understand that. When I say lives, mean like a, a, I have the same feeling that I wasn't from Jiu Jitsu from Brazil. I, was, I have the feeling that I was from Europe, or I was from uh, uh, America and US that I went to train Jiu Jitsu in Brazil. What I'm trying to say like, a, there was no Jiu Jitsu around me. There was mm, no Jiu Jitsu yes. in my state. The Jiu Jitsu was my state was no to not be a good Jiu Jitsu at all. Today, I think like it's one of the best ones, you know, <laughs> from how many names that come out from there. Yeah. Uh, but at the moment, at, at that time, you felt very removed from, yes. from jiu-jitsu. So, so I, I felt I was just kind of like uh, someone from another country that was have a chance to be able to go compete. And now I was facing like a, 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 someone from the Grace family that I told you like I have history to be able to take a picture of him. Well, for me, it was just like a dream to have that picture and to be able to kind of wrestle with him. When I say wrestle, like not win, no, not taken down, not passive guy. It was just like on my point was just have a feeling to just feel him. Mm -hmm. And I'm just talking about feeling. So that yeah. was kind of like what I, I felt when I was able to just, I'm going for hands, I'm going for hands. I was just going against hands, you know what I mean? I was going for, I was like, it's not win or lose. It's just about being able to wrestle. But obviously like, I'm, I was so trained to just give everything I have and that was enough to win the match. Mm -hmm. So luck, that was enough to win the match. But on my mind, it was not about win or lose, it was just like, I can't believe I'm doing this, and I just no stop, no stop. And I guess who saw the mat knows like I was trying so hard, and then I guess that pushed the pace to give me the win. But uh, on my mind is I'm the only one that could can describe like the feeling to just kind of um, rest with someone that you guys can imagine today to be the best one because he was already like a two or three times Abu Dhabi world champion. Mm -hmm. So. You never been able to Dhabi. First time able to Dhabi, uh, ADCC, all that that big tournament was supposed to be like a unreal because it was in another country. That was the first time they got out of uh, uh, of Abu okay. Dhabi because the whole 9/11 people was having a hard time to get a visa, stuff like that. So to have that over there, we still fight. Even was in Sao Paulo, the Abu Dhabi, I was still really far to imagine to be doing that, you know, and to be able to, I what I'm trying to like, I would still have that feeling to. I don't belong there. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people ha has that feeling if, if you never compete at Abu Dhabi. Well, yeah, I never compete at Abu Dhabi. So I would still have that feeling, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I was just like, a, I was someone that was able to just focus on one thing and just do it. You know? When I say do it, like, uh, even if I cannot do it, I will just try. Even if I fall, I, that doesn't change. Like, uh, I, I can just try again. What well, I'm trying to say, like, I don't have that much problems on my performance to think about not be able to do it because I just try. Even I know I can fail, I'll mm -hmm. just try. You know? And I guess that's one thing that like, uh, today be a little bit more like, uh, be old and I know that's what kind of have make the difference all these years, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I, have, I have the uh, ability, I guess, to believe in something that you don't see. Mm. What I'm trying to say, like, I believe I can win today all the other tournament that I will compete, that I was able to just kind of learn that. But you, you don't see, you don't mm -hmm. see if you, you can. Don't know. You yeah. don't know. Yeah. But you got to believe. Mm -hmm. And That's it's tough. something that I try to teach my students today. You got to believe, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. Still can, everything can fall apart. You know? And then you got to believe again, you know what I mean? And I guess that's what kind of like makes the difference all these years. I mean, that belief. I was able to believe that I could live for this. I can become a champ. Maybe I can win. Maybe I can become a world champ. What is crazy? What I don't belong there. But I just believe. I just, I just want that. I hope that happened. But I didn't know that could happen. I and I know how far I was from that. Come from where I come from. But that belief, like nobody could take from me. That uh, I know that could happen. You know what I mean? It's a tough thing to do, I feel like, to, to, to believe. Where, where, it's where did, hard. Yeah. Where did that, that, um, that steadfast belief come it's from? It's hard. It's hard to it's know hard. why, because I feel the opposite at the same time. Mm -hmm. I feel, mm -hmm. I feel. 
I feel like uh, uh, not believe. I feel like not make. I feel not succeeding. I feel like uh, uh, the judge from people around me all the time mm -hmm. because it's normal. You know, it's normal. Yeah. Like people, sometimes they want the good for you. Then they tell like, oh, why you don't go do something else? I mean, like it's more stable. Go find a, go, go study. You know, I mean, it's easy. When I say it's easy, like it's what everybody's used to. You know, I mean, so so you feel that judge, but um, so. That is, that was on my mind too. Yeah. I, I I wasn't just dumb. That I was like, oh, I'm just crazy. I can just believe in what I don't see. No, no, I have all the all the uh, conscious that could not happen. You know, I mean, couldn't just not have a good ending. But then when I was thinking about the not good ending, when I said not good ending, not become a champion or not live great, not not be able to uh, enjoy life and live in New York City and have a good living. When I say like uh, have your family like, in a safe place, you know what I mean? Like at the same time, I thought like yeah, but maybe one day by myself I'm okay. Even if I don't become a champ, even if like a, even if, uh, I'm okay. I enjoy like all the all the uh, all that time. I enjoy, you know. I enjoy try, you know. What I'm saying? Even when I was thinking about like okay, everything didn't work out. Everything didn't work out because I was thinking about that too. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was okay. But then at the same time, I was like, let me just like just don't think about it and just believe. You Put know. that out of your out of your mind and, yeah. and just believe. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.